Hello, TEAG parents and students. Welcome back to the 2020-2021 school year where we plan to set you and your child up for success. We hope your family continues to be safe and in good health. Thank you so much for your patience as we embark on this new journey together. As you have been made aware, our school district has made the decision to start the school year virtually until we check back and reassess on September 8th. This means that even though the buildings are closed, school is still in session. We're just doing it remotely from the safety of your own home. This video will help explain what virtual learning will look like. First, you will need a device that can be used to connect your child to his or her teacher during the day. Device options could be a laptop, desktop computer, or even a tablet. You will also need to make sure you have access to, to a good internet connection. If you have concerns regarding internet or devices, please call the school for support that is available. Secondly, based on state requirements, virtual learning will be more rigorous and more structured than, it than what was experienced during the emergency school closure last spring. Virtual learning instruction will be aligned with PISD curriculum and students will be expected to engage in daily structured activities and some flexible work times. Attendance will be taken daily and normal PISD grading guidelines will be followed. During this time, an adult must be present to help the students navigate their online class. Our hope is that students will be able to navigate our online platforms with little to no help after a few weeks of consistent practice. Now that you know what's needed and expected, we can move on to getting started. Everything begins with logging into ClassLink. Just like a cruise line ticket that takes passengers to specific destinations by specific ship, ClassLink will serve as your child's ticket to access apps and programs needed for his or her class. ClassLink is the one place that students log in to where everything they're using in the virtual classroom is right at their fingertips. Students and parents will only need to remember one password that will give them access to all the apps assigned to them. To get into the virtual class, the student signs in to class link. The sign in prompt looks like this. Your child's teacher will give you this information before school begins. Once the student successfully signs in, it will take you to the first landing page where all the programs needed for school will be housed. In elementary, your child will use apps like Google Classroom, iStation, Dreambox, and more. In Pasadena ISD, all students in grades 3 through 8 will utilize the Google Classroom platform. Google Classroom is a web-based learning environment. When logged in, students can collaborate with their teachers and their peers. Google Classroom offers a digital safe space for students to view class announcements, access posted course content, view posted assignments, and turn in completed work. We will look at the three main components that will be used. Once your child logs into Google Classroom from the ClassLink portal, he or she will click on the teacher's class tile to access tasks needed daily for class. The class view opens into the stream landing page. The stream is where students can view and access announcements, discussion topics, and comments. Upcoming assignments that are due soon can also be seen here. Here, you may also find a link used to connect your child with his or her teacher virtually. It is a Google Meets link located directly under the teacher's class name. However, if your teacher chooses to utilize Zoom for class meetings, the link may be found in another location that he or she will guide you to. Next, we'll take a look at the Classwork tab. 
The classwork page organizes assignments into modules and units. Each unit or topic will help to sort and organize the various assignments. The first topic may be something like your child's daily schedule and or the current peak of the week. The topics that follow will help you navigate the assignments or tasks that your child will need to complete for the class. Right beneath the topic is the classwork title. Information like due dates, class materials, and attachments will be available to view when each item is clicked. As mentioned, virtual learning this school year will be more structured than what happened in the spring. We will begin the school year following our regular bell schedule. The only difference is your child will be working from home. Elementary schools begin the day at 7.45 a.m. and dismiss at 3.05 p.m. Teachers will make use of every minute of the day. Teachers usually teach students two main ways, whole group and small group. During whole group instruction, teachers teach a particular lesson to the whole class or have discussions as a whole group. It's usually the time a new concept is introduced. Small group instruction usually follows whole group instruction to reinforce or reteach specific skills and concepts and provide a reduced student to teacher ratio. In a face-to-face -face classroom setting, all students are divided into groups. Each group is assigned to a workstation where they, do, where they do different activities to practice skills. Some examples include a listening station, poetry station, writing station, or a library station, to name a few. As kids work in their stations, the teacher calls a small group of children to work with him or her. Small groups typically range in size from three to six students. In this setting, students receive focused instruction and practice on a specific targeted skill. This small group time usually lasts anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes, depending on the grade level. Now let's take a look at our daily schedule. Every grade level will have a schedule similar to this structure. Here, you will clearly see which part of the day will be in a whole group setting and which sections are a small group setting. Whole group live meets are usually done in core subjects like reading, writing, and math. Your child's teacher will inform you on how to gain access to a live virtual meeting. They, were, they will either use Zoom links or a Google Meet link that can be found in the Google Classroom Stream page. One of these icons can help remind your child to attend a virtual meeting with their teacher. If they're using Zoom, they just click on the icon in their schedule. If they're using Google Meets, they will see this icon and use the link provided in the stream page. Small group sessions with the teacher will also be live virtual meetings. Remember, in small group, students are divided up doing station activities. These activities will be done independently, so the only time your child will meet with the, his or her teacher is the assigned time indicated by a Zoom icon. The teacher will tell you what group your child will be in. More information will be given to you during the first week of school. Teachers will walk your students through these platforms during that first week. Please don't hesitate to ask your child's teacher if you have any questions or concerns. We look forward to starting off our school year virtually with you, and we appreciate all the support you give to ensure a successful start and can't wait to work with you. See you soon!